Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge and I am coming back at you today with a special review of a product that I'm sure most of you have seen advertised on the gun tube but have been wondering, does it actually work? Well, what am I talking about? I am talking about the Neomag magnetic magazine holder that goes in your offhand pocket to keep that magazine discreetly carried but in a vertical and ready to deploy position. So let's jump right into this. All right, so before we actually jump into the functionality and usefulness of this product, let's take a look at what you will receive if you order one online. So it's gonna come in this plastic sleeve, cardboard backing that the magnetic magazine holder is attached to. It says Neomag, the original magnetic pocket magazine holder. Then on the back, it talks about the features and that it has a titanium pocket clip, which is right here. Steel construction with black nitride finish, stainless steel hardware, powerful magnet that can hold most magazines, including a Glock. I'm going to get to that here very shortly because they actually have two different styles. So this is the only single magnetic design, whereas for the Glock mags, they actually have two magnets in here, but we'll cover that here shortly. One size covers double and single stacked mags, large 45 ACP. So that's like a large size. I went with the medium because it uses 9 mil and 40 Smith & Wesson. And then also smallest for 380 ACP, so size medium. Nothing to see here, carry on. That's kind of cute. And then also the made in the USA product. So let's check it out. Okay, so in front of me, I have an assortment of different types of conceal and carry magazines with 40 Smith & Wesson and the rest being nine millimeter. I also have some aftermarket mags, such as the PSA Dagger Micro Magazine the Shield Arms Gen 2 mags, as well as the Gen 3s. And then I also have a factory OEM Glock magazine that is mostly polymer. So we're gonna see how well this actually works with each one of these, and if it's realistically going to be a viable option, and whether or not you should spend your hard-earned money or save it for something else. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out of the packaging. Pretty good clip. And is there anything on the inside? Oh, there is right there. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what this says. Front Pocket Innovations LLC Products Liability Disclaimer. Okay. And there's a whole disclaimer in here that I'm not going to bore you with. So I'm going to set this to the side. And then this is the actual product that you came to see. The Neomag Pocket Magnetic Magazine Holder. And just looking at it, it looks like a fairly simple design, but it feels very well constructed. So this is going to be a steel body that actually the magazine goes up against. And then this is a titanium clip. And because this is titanium, it's not going to wear over time and it should hold its form fairly well. It also looks like there's two screws that hold the titanium clip onto the steel body. So I'm sure if maybe accidentally, if you get this caught underneath, let's say a belt or a seat belt and it pulls up, you could probably have this clip replaced for a fairly low cost. Additionally, it looks like there's going to be some sort of rubber that goes in between the actual clip and your pocket material. And I like that. Um, and then we have the magnet inside of the body. So that's about it for the design. Fairly simple, but it feels very well constructed. So let's take a look at what it's supposed to do. All right, we'll start with a Shield Arms S15 no, God, Gen 2 no. magazine. Oof, wow, that was aggressive. I mean, that's real aggressive. Now, granted, this is a empty magazine. I wonder what it's gonna do with, let's say, a fully loaded Shield Arms Gen 3 magazine. Why you do you see I have me? the rivets on the back of this. And it is loaded all the way to 15 rounds. So let's see if this was gonna be in my pocket like this. I'd wanna carry it like so. Okay, that's actually a lot stronger of a magnet than I expected. Good job, Neomag. <laughs> um, 
All right, so we know that the magnetic system works. Because that's not a lightweight magazine. This is a steel-bodied magazine with 15 rounds of self-defense ammunition inside of it. 124 grain. And man, that magnet is sticky. So, good job on that. What does it do, though, let's say, with a fully loaded HKP 30 40 cal magazine? As you can see, it goes all the way down to the bottom. And these are, I forget what they are, but they're heavyweight self-defense ammunition once again if i had this in my pocket facing this way i'd want to attach it like this and all right the magnets are actually holding that's uh pretty crazy oh it needs to go up too so okay wow okay as you can see the magnets hold very well does it slide out of the holder easily oh yeah Oh, that's like putting a knife in a sheath is what it feels like. It almost has like that samurai sword sound from older movies. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh man, okay, so this is a very heavy magazine. Fully loaded, this is gonna be by far the heaviest mag that I have on the table. Now, let's see, what does it do with a PSA micro or dagger micro magazine? Now this is unloaded. Oh wow. No. Now, this does have a micro slick finish on it. So what I should do is load this up with ammunition and see how it feels. Now we have a fully loaded PSA dagger micro with the micro slick chrome finish on it. And we are going to see if it can. Oh, easy, easy, easy peasy. I was wondering if maybe the chrome micro slick finish would cause some sort of issue, but not at all. I mean, we're, <laughs> I don't wanna say jerking it, but I'm jerking it really good right now. And that's not going nowhere unless, pull it out. Okay, so let's see what it feels like to wear one of these. I have on just a regular pair of blue jeans. And here is the Neomag Clip Magnetic Magazine Holder. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to know is it's supposed to go into your offhand pocket. So for me, I'm dominant with my right hand, so my left hand is my offhand. So I'm going to put this into the pocket with the magnet, the silver round piece, facing towards my body. Now, as I put it in, I notice it's a really tight clip, so I do have to kind of get my fingernail underneath the clip in between the metal. And then it goes in. And I don't want to have this on the front side of my body, not for me. I prefer to have this at that nine o'clock location. So moving it backwards into my pocket for a couple of reasons. One, it's more comfortable. It's when I lift my leg, the magazine isn't gonna be driven into my stomach. And then two, if I need to get into my pocket, it's gonna keep the magazine in the rearward position away from entry, making it easier to get to my keys, wallet, or whatever else I'm keeping inside there. Now. We have the holder in my pocket. Let's see how this works. And magazine pretty much disappears. You can't see the top of the mag. You can see that there is something inside of my pocket, but you wouldn't necessarily guess that's a firearm magazine. How does it feel though? Feels good. It's funny, I can't even really tell that it's there. That's different because normally when I have my mag in my pocket and it's just laying there, it's laying across the bottom of my pocket this way and I can feel that as I move my leg. With it being over here at that nine o'clock position, it feels good. Let's see how it does when I jump though. Shaking the world, shaking the world. Sorry about the earthquakes and foreign locations. <laughs> it does not feel like it's going anywhere. I mean, at all. How does it feel to deploy? So if I were to reach in, grab, pull, and I'm good to go. Wow, that was super easy. And it goes back in, wow. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, big thumbs up. Let's go talk about it. All right, so I'm sitting down now. How easy is it to get to the mag? Very easy. Is it easy to put back in? That's gonna depend on your jeans, but yes. It went right back in, super duper easy. <laughs> I mean, the functionality of this is a lot better than I expected. So once again, big thumbs up for the folks over at Neomag. Now let's talk about 
why there are two different variations with the Neomag magnetic magazine holder. And as I mentioned before, this only has the single magnet in the middle of the steel frame. But if you were to use it with a Glock polymer mag, if it's unloaded, it's going to keep the magazine secure. However, because there is a polymer barrier between the metal insert inside of the Glock magazines and then also the magnet on the holder, that's why they make a Neo Mag magazine holder for polymer magazines that have metal inserts that will have two magnets, one on top of each other, to ensure that there is enough magnetism to keep that magazine in place inside of your pocket. That's smart. They were thinking ahead when they did that because they know a lot of people carry these polymer style mags. So in conclusion, I am very happy with this product and I can see myself making this definitely part of my EDC setup, especially because of the versatility that it will work with any single stack or double stacked magazine in either nine mil or 40 cal, which is what I carry as part of my EDC. So I hope you guys learned something about this. Go ahead and take a look at the Neo Mag product page and show them some love. And stay tuned because I am gonna be doing a review of their alias holster system, which is a quick detach holstering system for inside the waistband holsters. All right, until next time, peace.